didn't like the first version of this, and so I'm shooting it again. Hi, I'm John, and this is my vlog, and it is my one year vlog anniversary. I've been making and posting videos every week for about a year now. Anniversaries are fun. They let you be like, hey, it's been this long since this thing happened. Whether it's the anniversary of your birth, where you get to be like, hey, you're old. Or the anniversary of a marriage, where you get to be like, hey, hopefully things are going well. And things going well. And so I think it's a good time to sort of take stock, talk about how things are going, and why I'm still doing this. I started this vlog for a number of reasons. Reason number one is that I just really like YouTube as a medium, and this sort of, like, vlogger community interaction. And in my life, when I see something and I'm like, hey, I could feasibly do that, I often want to try to do it. That's what led me to start writing screenplays to begin with. And so after years of watching YouTube and liking YouTube and being engaged with the content and the creators, I was like, hey, I like that and I could do that. And so I did it. And overall, that's been successful, with the exception of a few weeks here and there. I put out a video every week, and I've done that for a year. That's really cool to me. Reason number two was, if you go and look at my first video, you know that that was when Geek and Sundry was looking for vloggers. Obviously, I'm not a Geek and Sundry vlogger. That didn't work out. But a thing I've learned in my life, in many areas, both personal and professional, if someone tells you you're not what they're looking for, they're usually right. And I don't think I would have been good for Geek and Sundry at the point I was trying to get on board with them. I was moving across the country, I didn't know what my schedule was going to be like, my schedule proved quite busy, and while I think I could have produced content, I don't think it would have been the best choice for my life. And the vloggers they have fit really well in their brand, so I'm not upset about that. And I work for them now, I am an intern at Geek and Sundry, and I'm happier I think from this angle of the company than I would have been from another one. And reason number three that I started vlogging was because I was moving across the country and I knew that I'm not the best at returning phone calls or checking in with my family. Hey mom, hey nana, hey Elizabeth, hey everyone who watches this, how are you guys doing? And at least this way they would know I'm alive and a general sense of how I'm doing and what I'm thinking about that week. And that's gonna win as well, it kind of feeds into my next point. Not a lot of people watch these videos. Not a lot, not taking off. I think there are a few strangers who check in on me in which, like, hey, it's nice to see you. But for the most part, the people who are watching my videos are people I know, my friends and my family, and not even a particularly large number of those people. If I'm in this for the views, it's not working. But then something I've been very honest with myself about as this has been going on is that I'm not good at this yet. Maybe that's not exactly true. I think I might be, like, good, but I'm not, like, really good. Not good enough to break through the noise and actually find a real audience yet. But I'm getting better. I think I'm learning what makes a better video topic, and I'm learning from editing, and I'm learning from my mistakes, where I think a video is really cool, but then I'm, like, rushed through the edit, and it doesn't look as good, and I've taken in a lot of this stuff, and I think moving forward, I have a lot more ideas of what's gonna help me make things work. And I don't know that I ever expect this channel to take off on its own. I mean, maybe, yeah, I'll make a video, and the right person will see it and share it, and that'll happen, but I think it's more likely that if I continue this into my professional career, I will only get an audience on these videos when I have an audience on my other work. And I'm fine with that, because none of the three reasons I did it were to have a lot of people watching my videos. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy taking the time out of my week to separate from whatever I happen to be stressing about and make a video about whatever's on my mind. And whether it's a video that has some sort of real content, or it's a video where I'm just babbling at the camera because I'm overwhelmed, it's therapeutic in a way, and it's enjoyable, and I think it's funny sometimes, and I like doing it. Various people have been very kind to me about the things I say in my videos, saying they like when they catch them the things I have to say and they appreciate my opinions. And I appreciate that a lot. But I know that I wasn't ready this year for a huge number of viewers who would expect things from me. I don't know that I'm still ready for expectations on this channel. I feel more so that I am. If I make that video that takes off this year, I'll be able to handle it. I'm firmly in Los Angeles, I'm firmly in my program, and at least for the next year my life is somewhat stable. So I'm gonna really, really try to prioritize these videos over the next year. I don't want to throw something on the internet that's a rushed edit, and I don't want to be babbling at the camera unless I think it's funny. I want to produce content that if I do get a million subscribers, I don't feel the need to go back and take down because of embarrassment of the quality. And I still want to be part of this space, and I still want to check in with my family and friends who are far away about how things are going in my life. 
This month, I've kind of fallen into a weird sort of routine that I think I'm going to try to keep with. The first Monday of every month will be in defense of videos. The second Monday of every month will be my micro reviews of things I've watched, read, and experienced in a week. Third month will be a grab bag topic, whatever I want to talk about. And fourth month, I will go back to my trying stuff roots and try something. I could use a suggestion of what to try next week. I think that kind of structure will bind me in a good way. It'll help me focus my ideas and give each video a kind of point. But also, I reserve every right to deviate from that structure as much as I see fit. I'm going to put a lot of work into the edits. I want to make sure that they are cut the best they could be. Because even if this camera I shoot on is cheap and I don't have a mic at the moment, I do have the ability to at least make the cuts good cuts. And I want to make content that the 40 people who watch my videos like more. So if there's a type of video that I make that you really like, please let me know by either clicking the thumbs up on YouTube, not on Facebook, or giving me a comment about it. And if we are friends on Facebook and I do a video that you're like, that was dumb, you can tell me that in a constructive, nice way as well. Even if the people watching are just my family and friends, I really appreciate the fact that they take four to six minutes of their life to watch this video, and I want to make that an enjoyable four to six minutes. So I'm really looking forward to the next year on this channel, and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for taking this time. I really appreciate you, even if there aren't that many of you. And that's all, okay?